Look, boys, perennial all-star Derek Jeter. Hey, kids, have fun at the game. Listen, the CIA said they were done with me. I still have the headaches and the nightmares. What happened in Munich? Who did I kill? No, no, I'm not here for that. Stan, why don't you tell one of your exciting Grenada stories that everyone loves, including Steve? Oh, nobody wants to hear any of my stupid stories. You're in Grenada? Barry, don't encourage... Why don't you pull up a couple of chairs? October 30th, we were pinned down by the enemy, and I just learned Johnson was going to the USO Halloween pageant as Ms. Pac-Man, which meant I had less than 24 hours to come up with a whole new costume. <gasps> Guilty as charged, but I'm gonna make good on it all, starting with that centerfold I promised you. Here she is, centerfold Janet Gustafson. That's not her. She's ancient. Well, sure, the magazine I showed you was from 1957. But she still loves to party. For Steve, jabba dooba 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 doo doo ba ba da 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 I fell doo 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 zaba doo ba da da in pain da 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 Well, I know all your memories now, just like you know all mine, right? I don't know anything anymore. Some call him a genius, others call him a madman. But he's the single most valuable weapon our country has in our war on terror. Scott here is uh, pretty good at the jumble. Steve, this is the best party I've ever thrown. I mean, you've ever thrown. We're finally popular. Nice shot, Smith. Accompanied by a hauntingly poignant turn of phrase. Thanks, it's from Reagan's speech when the Challenger blew up. Yep, Steve's an absolute warrior. I am the elf warrior of Galandror. Hey, are you two capering? We don't allow capering in here. <coughs> Point a flashlight at my dad, you <coughs> terrorist helping <coughs> traitor. Dad, you're 76. Just retire. Mark and I would love for you to live with us. Well, I can't leave the museum, Sheila. They need me. But these are your golden years, Pop. You should be enjoying life with your family. <laughs> I never stopped enjoying it, Sheila. And in a way, those paintings are my family. Uh-oh. Go ahead. Play the card. But it'll send you back to start. I'm familiar with the rules, Stan. But... Play the card! <sighs> Freeze, you big-footed freak! Dan Weber does not fear you, for he is ushering in the Age of Magic. And you cannot shoot what you cannot see. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you know what else I hate about America? New Mexico. Like we need another one of those. Why don't you just talk to your boss and tell him how you feel? That's perfect. I'll plant a bomb in his office and then defuse it so I can prove I've still got it. So why are you here now? I decided it was high time to meet the family. Wait a minute. If that's our grandfather, who did we just bury? Well, let's just say he's a beloved family friend who helped me in my hour of need. <laughs> Listen, I'm getting married in three hours, and I need a pretend dad for the next 30 years. <laughs> Okay, how about you? Wait, there is someone at Clooney's door. Stan, what's he doing there? Clooney, I love you too much to let this happen. Francine's a fraud. <gasps> She's a housewife from Virginia out to hurt you. Look. Oh my God, I can't believe it. So you're saying I should never ever have sex before marriage? That's right, or angels will kill you. Hey, these people are extremists. That's not ignorance, that's fact. Quick, cover your mouths. That's how they enter your body to lay their eggs. I doubt we'd be calling it minor if it was your wee-wee. Well, I guess this is it. I'll see most of you in heaven. Haley, it's been a crazy ride. Hey, Donnie, tell my son about the guy who tried to sneak a lipstick camera past the XR-21. I accidentally shot him. Yeah, you did. It's called justice, and it was hilarious. Steve, how would you like to go to the Yankee Oriole game tomorrow? Really? Absolutely. If you want to get good at something, you have to see it done up close by professionals. That's why I took your mother to Bangkok last summer. What'd you do that for? I'm finally popular like we wanted. You're not popular. You're easy. Maybe my girls opened the door, but I'm the one who walked through it. They like me for me. 
You are not leaving this house until those milk monsters are gone. Vince Chung invited me to his party tomorrow night, and you can't stop me. Oh, yeah? Just so you know, I had the shot. My dad's a thief and a con artist. I'm just a sucker in an itchy turtleneck. And what I did to you... Go ahead, punch me in the face. I deserve it. Oh, Stan. Oh! I said punch, not lamp. One of these days, Francine. One of these days. Wipe the kisser. Hey, Agent Smith. Jay Leno. Your boss ready to be roasted? Uh, I guess so. I was hoping my wife would show up before you went on. <laughs> Ooh, wife not here to support you? Guess we know who wears the pants in your family. Where's Smith? He was supposed to meet us here. Hey, give me a chance to emerge. Bye, Dad. We're going to see the new Michael Moore documentary. Michael Moore? Oh, you mean Michael Bin Laden? The Cougar, Wolves, Killer Salmon. And I think you'll be surprised to see what creature was number one in my Enemies of the Bear collection. Man. Wait a minute. This isn't a promotion. With all due respect, sir, suck it up. You'll get your promotion, Smith, just as soon as you do one last thing for me. Oh, come on. I picked up your laundry, I polished your shoes, I've done everything but bend over backwards for you, and my daughter did that, so I say we count it. Taking it off here, boss. Television! What? Television drove me to it. I'm still decent. I'm just a victim of this evil spewing smut box. Give me a break, Dad. Television? Well, let me ask you something. Do you think about sex all the time? Nonstop. And do you watch TV all the time? Constantly. Holy cow! You just blew my mind! Oh, Dad, these eggs are the best! Francine, taste these eggs. It's like Dad plucked them from the ovaries of an angel. And my dad fought communists and terrorists, and he has a jetpack and a helicopter, and I bet he could beat up a cowboy. No, this isn't working for me, Stan. What's the problem? Now do I get to meet that centerfold? No, I just said that to motivate you so you'd carry me to the top. Dad, I can't believe you lied to me. Really? Huh, that's, that's kind of my whole bit. Dad, do something! So what exactly is a frittata? Dad! Hey, I'm hungry. This guy rode me like an animal for three hours. Do you have any idea what that's like? And uh, now I'm not hungry. This is Ali, Khalid, and Faziz. Are you okay? I'm fine. And quick. Like a cat. A cat that could kill you. What's going on? Steve fell off a ladder. He's dead inside. We're gonna go save America. Hello, I'm Dr. Gupta. Yes, I'm a woman. I suppose you have a problem with that. Uh, no. Is my wife gonna be okay? Are you questioning my competence? No, I'm just concerned about my wife. Really? Because the way you're looking at me, it seems like you're concerned with something else. There. Now can we move on? Dad, I'm meeting the fellas at the movies. Can I have a few bucks for popcorn? Do I look like I'm made of money? You're free to go. Yeah! Ow! It's over, Thundercat. Whore. Hey, Stan. How come I've never seen this son of yours before? Darnell's been to the office a hundred times. Or are black people invisible to you, you racist bastard? <laughs> wow. They sure can run, can't they? Way to go, son! <gasps> All I need is someone with a little startup money who believes in me. Francine, you know what I'm gonna do for you? I'm gonna wear my money suit to your grand opening when you find that someone who believes in you. Hello, Bill Gates. Turns out I'm the richest guy in the world because I have an adoring wife and a loving family. Oh, Stan, please. Oh, hang on, that's the other line. Hello, UNICEF? Yes, I'd like to donate some of my immense riches. What's that? Children are still starving in Africa because wife love is worthless to you. What an odd policy. Uh now, how'd my boys like to try out the new motorcycles I bought them? <laughs> Clune tang, clune tang, clune tang, clune tang, clune tang. Oh, clune tang. Because you get a lot of cleaver.
Now, everyone watch as this family man slash killing machine diffuses this bomb. Shame! Shame on you! How can you just use him like that? He's a person, not a girl! No, I'm gay. What? My gaydar is totally off. Damn! Sky Mall screwed me again. Well, Quacky, I think it's fantastic. Stan, why don't you get us some drinks to celebrate? Okay, but when I go, he has to promise not to stare at my ass or become a school teacher. Hey, you! My boys just called me from a freighter headed for China. Was that your doing? Oh, uh, well, I... Uh... <laughs> that is the best practical joke ever. It's even better than the time I switched Julia Roberts' fetus with a rat. Sonogram comes back and she's all, uh-huh. So, Barry, want to wind down by watching the best movie ever, Red Dawn? I'm Barry! Red Dawn? Dad, I thought that was our thing. Oh, you're off the hook, Steve. I know you never bought into the whole Nicaraguans, Russians, and Cubans invading Colorado thing. Get him! Damn vultures! Who are they? Paparazzi I hired to follow you. Leave her alone, you animals! Stan! Huh? Where? Get out here, you jerk! You abandoned me in my own reunion! Abandoned you? Oh, thank God he's not here. I've never been treated so bad my whole life! You're filth! You're a horrible, terrible, horrible person! You know, you're a very attractive man. Excuse me? You heard me! You're a son of a bitch, and now I'm gonna kiss you! Mm. Dan, what are you doing? Uh, Francine, I can explain. I can't believe you lied to me all these years. And the best part is I'm still lying to you about a bunch of other stuff. We may be in Saudi Arabia, but that doesn't mean we have to panic or blame your mother. Hey, everyone, I'm Steve's father. He came from my seed. And she was the manure. And now George Clooney begins his descent into hell. Please put your seat backs and tray tables in the upright position. Please put... George Clooney's heart in the, in the, in the sad right position. Should have ended with that whole descent into hell thing. You wrote a children's book? No, Steve. I wrote 3,012 children's books, each chronicling the adventures of Patriot Pigeon, who battles America's enemies by dropping red, white, and blue turds of justice. Well, what a nice visit. Oh, Mr. Durbin, the pleasure was all mine. And thanks, Lynn, for the delicious maple scones. Can we have another pony ride? Oh, no. This old horse has to get back to the stable. Oh, uh, Mr. Durman, I almost forgot. I wanted to ask you... Why do you hate my son? Ah! Shut up! Don't look at me! Get on the floor! You! Get me more maple scones! Why are you failing my son? Answer me, dirtbag! He had his Japanese friend do his writing assignment. Look! Oh, I see. Well, good night. Good night, Lynn. Oh, don't get up, kids. Seriously, stare at the floor and count to a hundred. Go ahead, Eric. Be a hero. That's what I thought. Punk ass. You think that people would have had enough for silly love song? I look around me and I see it isn't so! What? I mean, why'd you cheat? Um... Stan! It's all right, Francine. For the second time in my life, I was saved by hip-hop. But that's another story. Daddy, I made you some soup. Let it cool, because it's much, much too hot. <coughs> ah! Oh, my God! <laughs> gotcha! I can't feel a thing! You betrayed me, Stan. And since now, I'll never be able to break Clooney's heart. I must kill him. No! <coughs> Let me go, Stan! Sorry, Francine, you need to cool down. And then tomorrow, I'm shipping you back to the States. In the meantime, I'm gonna go meet George. He's at a mountaintop spa trying to clear his head of this crazy chick. Oh, I mean you. Haley, why don't you get some sleep? You haven't left your father's side in three days. This was my fault. Hey, don't worry about me. I'm still your same old dad. What's that sound? Oh, I'm peeing. Fantastic! Stan, you need to go to the U.S. Embassy and get help! Oh, sure. One little snag and we go running back to the imperialist pig dogs. Will you have a little faith in the Saudi legal system? Let me tell you about the Saudi legal system. 
I've been in here for 23 years, and you know what I did? I stole a candy bar. I don't believe you. My hand to God. So I'm gonna head over to the embassy. Yeah, good idea. Hi there. Uh, I'm dining with a beautiful woman somewhere in this restaurant. Could you ask me to discreetly excuse myself so I can have a word with me? I do not understand. You left 15 minutes ago with your wife. Oh, crap. Where'd I go? The dance. The dance? It's all set, right? It's gonna be just like in Carrie. Pigs? It was supposed to be pig's blood. I didn't finish the book. You stopped reading after the word pigs? That wasn't even the end of the sentence. <laughs> you think you're so cool? Well, in 20 years, I'm gonna come back here with my own homecoming queen. And we'll have our spotlight dance, and I'll show you, I'll show you, and 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 you, in those eyes, the lies, the peace. Those eyes, I am your niece. That sounds awful. That's because I'm not Peter Gabriel, I'm Gabriel Byrne. Oh. Ah! Kent? We don't live in America, Steve. We live in America. No, 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 wait. We live in America. No, that's all right. We, we are American. Where, where was I going with this? Guns work. But you were paralyzed by a gun. No, I was paralyzed by you. Wow, that's quite a line. Well, it's actually more of an assessment of your life. No, I mean the line to get in. What you just said was emotionally devastating. <laughs> I guess it was. I guess it was. Francine, what a nice surprise. <laughs>